Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be installing a rain diverter for our gutter system. As you can see here we have two uh, barrels that were initially used for pickling pickles and for this DIY project we'll be repurposing these barrels as a rain barrel for our collection system. And since this is a DIY project we're basically going to do a DIY solution to implement our rain diverter system. So as you see here, we printed ourselves our own. This is a homemade one that I made myself on Fusion 360, which pretty much diverts the rain into the system. And it also has a overflow uh, protection system just in case these two barrels get overflowed with water, It'll, the rest will flow back down here. So connecting this at appropriate level will be really important as well. So let's go ahead and let's start building our system. Now for this project I happen to have some old downspouts that I had from uh, roof repair. So basically here I'm marking off where I want the diverter to be located on the downspout. Here I'm positioning the diverter to be at an equal height as my rain barrel. The reason behind that is so that when the rain barrel become filled with water that the extra water can fall down back down the downspout. And always when you're working with heavy machinery, wear your safety glasses when you're cutting your gutters. So here I'm basically cutting the bottom half of the downspout. So this will make an easy swap for the old one for the new one. So when everything is cut at proper length, it's now time to secure them with metal fastening screws. And if necessary, transfer any supporting mounting brackets to your new downspout. Now for the barrel spigot, I'm using this version from RainPal. Now this is an updated version that allows you to tighten the spigot from the outside. Now when it comes to installing this barrel spigot, I'm basically installing it about 2.5 to 3 inches above from the bottom. Here I'm just testing the bulkhead fitting on the hole I drilled. So after applying your Teflon tape, it's time to put on your rubber gasket and assemble the rest of your bulkhead. Now I really like this design from RainPal, especially this updated version because it allows a really tight seal from not only from the inside but also from the outside with the gaskets. Now 
Now installing the barrel linker is only necessary if you have more than one water barrel. So installing the barrel linker is similar to installing the barrel spigot with bulkhead fittings. So I won't go into much detail here. So with the barrel linker you have the option of installing it at the top of your water barrel or the bottom. So for me I decided to install at the bottom so that the both barrels can have equal amount of water and pressure. With the water inlet, I decided to install it on the side of the barrel rather on the top cover. So that this way it allows me easy access to the inside of the water barrel. So these rubber gases I picked up from Home Depot are really great. I wish I had these earlier because it basically allows you to make custom DIY gaskets. So once you trace your pattern, it's really simple to cut them out. I'll be definitely using these gaskets for future home projects. What you don't see here is that I have a gasket on the inside and on the outside. I also applied a small bead of silicone to ensure a tight seal. Now that both ring barrels are ready, it's time to give the inside a nice good clean because they smell like pickles nonetheless and they have a lot of plastics inside. So we're going to give it a good rinse and we'll head back to our location and set it up. Like drizzle, both barrels are completely filled to the rim with water. So I say this diverter is a complete success. Now if you want to get one of these downspout diverters for your water barrel system, check my link below. Now if you also have a 3D printer, you can print out one yourself, which I'll also include a link for that where you can print it out yourself. Now that's all I have for today. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Hit the like button. If you want to see more videos and DIY, hit the subscribe button. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, leave in the section below. Until next time, peace out.